welcome back to the channel guys and girls today i'm coming at you with a 1v1 challenge we've got the almighty berkeley power worms right here and we've got the trout worms both are pretty uh pretty well known in the trout fishing industry um this one's definitely more common but this one still catches fish we're going to put these guys head to head we're going to try to catch three fish each off of each one and we're going to do 10 cast increments 10 cast 10 cast 10 cast 10 cast until we have figured out who's best so let's without further ado guys let's go ahead and get started we're going to start off our day with the berkeley power worms our rigging for today is going to be quite simple we're going to have ourselves a float a small little weight and a tiny little salmon egg hook here so i can get a hold of it i'm going to be wacky rigging these right in the center just like so I'm going to be drifting these. So, let's get started. First cast with the uh, power worm, guys. We've picked up one. Looks like a rainbow. Good size. So needless to say, very first drift with the Berkeley Power Worm, we found success. Very cold this morning. 20 degrees as a matter of fact, so. We'll try to keep this fish out of the water as short as possible. Just because of that, we don't want him getting damaged in any way. Okay, right there's a tank right off the get-go, guys and girls. I mean, this is a daggum big one. As you can see, he's got our power worm down his gullet. Let's see if we can get it back. We did, we'll flip him over in the net, guys. We're just going to let him take right on off. All right, boys and girls, that pink power worm, very first drift. So we'll continue our study and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so now we're going to grab these out. We'll fold this up and put it away. Just like last time, guys, we're just going to simply take this. We're just going to hook it right in the middle. Just like so. Move our sinker back up. And there we go. There's our bait, our weight, and our float. Just like our last cast. Now it's going to be hard to beat the first cast. But there's nothing saying that that won't happen. So let's get it out there and see. Okay, drift number eight right here. We've had three bites out of eight drifts and missed all three bites. Okay, we threw that pink normal Lucky Strike Trout Worm 10 times, had four bites, not too bad, no hookups though. Could be because of the thickness of the plastic, the diameter of the plastic here, impeded the hookup ratio. But just like I said, May 10 cast, four bites, no fish. We're gonna go right on back to the Power Worm. We got the pink here. And we're just going to simply do the same thing, exact same setup. We're going to make this drift and we're going to see if it's the worm or if it's the fish. So let's find out. All right. We've got four more casts left with the power worm. We've drifted it six times. Probably, I don't know, 45, 50 yards or so of water covered with it and no bites. I know we're around fish, so that's not the case. All right, 
drift number seven. I'm gonna try a little bit tighter to the bank here. There we go. Drift number seven with the Berkeley Power Worm. This was the only bite though off of the Power Worm. It's fighting good. Yes, he is. He's fighting really good. I'm just going to sneak on down here. Okay. So even though we got a whole lot more bites on the trout worm, we've still only caught fish on the power worm. And I think that's because of its fishability, the fact that it's very skinny and narrow in the center. See if we can get this little beauty right on in the net. Sure did. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Looks like we're around this gill. We're just gonna unpoke him right here. We're just gonna allow this little beauty to take right on off. All right. So total, we've taken seven or eight casts. We've caught two fish on the Berkeley worm. So to continue our experiment, let's go on ahead and grab back out our trout worm and we will continue along fishing. All right, guys and girls, it was a slight interruption there from the stock guy, but we are back now. And like I was saying earlier, we're gonna switch back to the pink trout worm. I've rigged this up with a lot less separation between the bait and the hook as you can see here with the overall intent of being a, of having a better hookup ratio so we're going to start off right here and we're going to see just how many drifts it takes to either catch a fish or simply get bit all right we'll make cast number 10 right here i've had three bites on the trout worm and no hookups um not too sure. Okay, guys. So, this right here has been drifted 20 times total, and I've ha I have had several bites, you know, seven or eight bites, no hookups. However, this Berkeley Power Worm has probably only been drifted 10 times and has caught two fish. So it's pretty safe to say that the Power Worm is the more effective worm. I'd like to go on ahead and say, after conducting this experiment here, that I do feel like the power worms are in fact the better option while wacky rigging and drifting. With that being said, power worms have a tendency to float up so they are not as good at dead sticking. And what I mean by dead sticking is just that. You cast the bait out with no weight and no float. You simply wacky rig hook, just like we've been doing, with the trout worm. And the trout worm itself will sink quite well. The power worm will not. This cast does not count towards our experiment, but just for the sake of our conversation, the, the, the power worm will pretty much float. So for dead sticking, you still need those trout worms. But if you only have the money to buy one pack, spend the money, get the power worms. They are by far much better. I'd like to thank Blue Springs Trout Farm for uh, supplying us with a location to fish here for this video. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you check them out, guys. I'm going to leave their links in the description. Give them a call. Check out their website. They've got three locations that are stocked to fish, ready to go, seven days a week. I don't think they stock on Christmas, but that's about it. Um, $60 per day. Just the other day, a 13-pounder got pulled out. 
a 13 pounder think about that that's bigger than my biggest ever this place has the big ones i know you've seen me fish other paid areas but trust me this place here they really do raise some giants so check them out in the description um special thanks to them and uh until next time boys and girls tight lines